Mr. Edwin, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> I am fine. I am fine. What about you? I am good day. You had a good day? Yeah. But what was your schedule today? Uh, day. Today. The, and um, you get home. Um, 7 a.m. at 5 p.m. From 7 to 5. Okay. Yeah. That's... Lo bueno de este día es que mañana day 4. Oh, sería tomorrow. Day cool. of, tomorrow uh, is. Day of. Uh, a ver, vamos a. Miércoles. Tomorrow day off, uh, Friday day off, return, return at work, Saturday. Okay. So tomorrow and Friday day, days off. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's actually nice. Good for you. Good Mr. evening, Vladimir. Hi, good evening to everybody. How are hey, you today? Vladimir. I'm fine, teacher. How about you? I'm just great, just great. How was your day, Vladimir? Good. Today was uh, descansado. What do you say, descansado? Rest. Easy. Easy. An easy day. An easy day. Yeah, it's like Edwin didn't have an easy day because it was his normal shift, but he's telling me that tomorrow, <laughs> Thursday and Friday, days off. For him. Oh, really? Yeah, imagine yeah. that. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Edwin. Thanks, Vladimir. Voy a poder dormir un poco más en la mañana. <laughs> okay. Look, look, Edwin. That expression, you say it like this. Look. You yeah. say, I will be able to. Seré capaz de. I will be able to. I, I will be able, able to, to sleep. To sleep. Yeah. yeah, that's actually finally cool. for fin. <laughs> finally, finally. Uh, finally, finally. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I mean, it's always good to to rest a little bit. It's very important. Yeah, eh, voy a tener tiempo para estudiar. Oh yeah, sure. You are working on the university, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The same as okay. Vladimir. How's the career going, Vladimir? When do you start next? Uh, next, next, next Saturday, and on um, March 13th. Oh, really? Yes, the um, level three. Yeah. Semester, uh, third semester. Like that, perfect. The third semester. <laughs> wow, yeah. It's good, it's good to study, but it's a little bit heavy. Yes. I mean, the schedule is is hard, but you need it. Yeah. Well, is if I want to earn much money, I need to be a master and I need to learn English. Okay. I told you last time. If I want to earn more money. More money. Ah, uh, sorry. Yes. If I want to earn more money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that. That's actually. That's the way it is all the time. I mean, you need to get. To be better prepared in order to advance on the company but i mean let's be patient and let's make our best effort yes okay let me that's the way it is yes let me just text your classmates that i'm here Okay, I texted everybody that it's time, it's time. Three minutes, three minutes. Yeah, three minutes, but you know. Hey teacher, what about with another Karen? She doesn't she want to start it. 
The problem is her, her problem was mostly about the schedule. Uh, the classes of the university. If there, yeah. If there are another schedule for this for this uh, group. Hmm. The problem no. with this level is that I don't think so. Uh, there are only from we, eight to ten p.m. Yes, we are waiting for the for the regular ones. Estamos esperando los presenciales. When INSA form uh, authorizes, that's going to be different because in those cases, those are weekends. Esos son fines de semana. Ah, good. Oh, one day of the week, both of them. Both Saturdays and Sundays. Okay. But but the format this format is going to continue. Yes, I know. This format I guess I guess all this year. Yeah, the the other one is good because I mean we take like uh, five hours on a row. El otro formato bonito porque nos tiramos cinco horas seguidas. It's good. I study at UCA from 6 to 8 from Monday to Friday, three okay. hours. Okay, we used to work in, the, in this program from, I used to teach uh, from 12.30 to 6 p.m. Yes. And that's Saturdays and Sundays from 7.30 to 1.45 p.m. Oh my gosh. But I mean, it's a lot of information. And besides those were uh, intermediate, intermediate levels, they are more hours. Really? Yep. Okay. When you get to the intermediates, you're going to find out that they are more hours. Medios tienen más horas. Hi Sonia, how are you? Hi Sandra, how are you? Sonia looks relaxed today. Hmm. Yeah, because yesterday <laughs> she was just arriving. What time did you get home today, Sonia? Uh, six fifteen, I guess. Oh, that's why you know. Yesterday she was very formal. She was just arriving. Today she looks yeah, but you look your 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 face looks more relaxed. Um, quizá, ¿cómo per, se dice? Perhaps. ¿Cómo? Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps, okay. Like a song. Uh, perhaps, yeah. perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, okay. <laughs> bueno, perhaps I have a good day. I did routine work. Mm. And listening to recordings of services for feedback. And then I check um, call indicators and science reports. Only that. So, so. So, oh, you were busy. See, yes. But. Fue, como es fue, what? It was, it was. It was good. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. I mean, the good thing is that you enjoy your job. Come on, she, she's the manager. Yeah, that's why. The good thing is that you enjoy your job. The, one the big boss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah she's, she's the tough one. Es la dura. You see her here is smiley, but in her job, oh, aquí la mira toda sonriente, pero me trabajo. No, también. <laughs> también. Yeah, you, a veces. A veces. You have to be careful, Vladimir, with that type yes. of person. She, she's going to say, that depends. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know, uh, those positions are good, but the responsibilities are big. Mm. Yes. That's the thing that the responsibilities you are in charge of are big and ooh, it's like in the army. Es como en el ejército. Mm -hmm. The 
I mean, the mistake of a private. El error de un soldado, private, has not the same consequences as the mistake of a general. Mm -hmm. So if you are in a position of commanding, you have to be very careful with what you decide, with your process, with everything, mm -hmm. because you are in charge. And I mean, yet that responsibility is, is actually big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that's why she's always angry. Por eso se siempre le pasa enojada. Yeah, she's frowning, you know. <laughs> ya ve, por eso me disperso. <laughs> yeah, I can tell, I can tell. Uh, but it's, it's good. Dealing with people is interesting, actually. Tratar con personas mm -hmm. es interesante. Sometimes it's a, how do we call it? It's a, sometimes it's, something that we have to struggle with. A veces es con lo que debemos luchar because there's many different types of people and with some of them are easy to work. So with some of them is hard to work. Mm -hmm. But we have to make do. Con algunas personas es fácil trabajar, con algunas otras es difícil. But sí. we have to make do. Pero tenemos que Hay que hacer. face it. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's interesting, it's interesting. I mean, it's like working with teams. Es como trabajando en grupos. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes you get with people you don't really like. A veces nos toca con personas que perhaps we don't like them, quizás no nos agradan, but they are, we work good together. Mm -hmm. Pero trabajamos bien con ellos. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a mm -hmm. whole different story. Yeah. But still, we got to be careful with you. Aún así, vamos a tener cuidado con usted. Nah. <laughs> Aquí no estamos trabajando. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Vladimir, that type of persons, they are very demanding. Oh, really? Yeah, ese tipo de personas son muy demandantes. Okay. I'm going to take your advice. Yeah, and Sonia, you still owe me from the information I sent you two weeks ago? Me debe de la información que le mandé hace dos semanas. No se la envié. No, the, a last, the last link, I think not. Creo que el último enlace, no. Vladimir, I don't know if you want to continue with that. Oh, teacher, sorry, I didn't do it, but I'm going to continue tomorrow. Yes. I... I mean, if you want to continue, for me, it's okay. If you think it's too much, for me, it's okay. No, no, I'm going to continue. Okay. Yo también. Yeah. Mauricio, what about you? Eh, forgot. Okay, no problem, no problem. Edwin, what Richard, about you? Lo siento, pero sí, yo también, yo también. Okay. <laughs> y le agradezco, en serio. Hola, oh, right, right. yeah, Sí, yeah. no, la verdad. Actually, today I was checking. Uh, the problem is these guys. I, I keep, uh, as I have different jobs, I have, I keep different agendas mm -hmm. and some information I keep it physically. Some information I keep it on a digital agenda. Today I was putting in order my agenda and I found out that I was sending information to you and you didn't reply. Y encontré mi agenda que yo les había mandado información y que algunos no me contestaron. So, hmm. Hi, yeah. The problem is that, uh, as I tell, as I explained the other day to, to Vladimir, I think every week I have to prepare a lot of reports. So I check all my agendas and I start looking for the information and I have a, a rec, I have records of everything I do. Because for me, it was like this. I do not memorize information. Mm -hmm. No trato de memorizar toda la información. What I do is, I write it down. Tomo nota de todo. If it's written, I know it's there. Si está escrito, sé que está. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. If it's not written, it doesn't exist for me. So, we will continue, guys. Starting tomorrow. So, let's make our best effort. Thank you. What about you, Walter? How are you? I'm fine. 
Walter, 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 in your case, I am so sorry. I was checking my agenda, but I didn't have the chance today to fix the problem with your name. But I will. My second name, my, my middle name. Make middle name, fix Walters. Uh, that's my to do for tomorrow. So, estamos anotando mis quehaceres para mañana. Fix Walters, middle name. Yeah, because. I mean, the problem is that in your diploma is going to appear Josué. So we got to fix it. Así que lo vamos a arreglar, but don't worry, we can fix it. No problem. No es un problema, eso lo arreglamos fácil. Okay. So Walter, how was your day? Tell me. Uh, busy day, maybe. I don't, I don't, not sure. Oh, really? Come on, man. How you are for moment is crazy for moment it's so so okay cool hey guys by the way i'm sorry but i got a headache so siento pero coffee yeah i need my shot it's it's my medicine no 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 way jose that's not a good dinner yes you know the problem walter is that in my case my day was crazy too I mean, it's, it was hectic, it was complex, and there were so many stuff to do, many activities to perform. And uh, let me check, okay. Okay, guys, uh, before anything else, please, I need you to pay attention to me. Tell me, which microphone is better? This one that I'm using right now, or, or what about this one? Which one is better, the previous or this one? What's on the first one? The first? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. It's just that I switch computers. Or it can be the machine. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you, Walter. Let's see who else is around. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, thank. How are you? I'm just great. A little bit busy as I told you, uh, as I was telling everybody. But tell me about your day. Um, um, today I released uh, uh, um, countryside visit to uh, water and sanitation project. Oh, really? Hmm. It... Water sanitation project in the countryside. That's good. Cool. Where did you it... go? Tell me, in, which department? Uh, Karen. No, Oscar, where did you go? ¿A dónde fue? Ah, sorry. Um, Toscania. Toscania. Sí. That's a... Uh, uh, straight uh, to Puerto La Libertad. Yeah, on, this, on the road to... On the road. You can say on the road or... On the road. You can say road. two ways. Yes, you can say it on the road to, or you can say in a carretera, or you can say on the way to. Thank you. Que es de uh, camino a. De camino a. The second on one the, is. On the road. The second right. one is on the way to, de camino a. Okay. On the way to uh, Puerto La Libertad. Okay. So it was fresh. To yes. Fresco. Thank you. That's nice, that's nice. Well, yeah, I mean, what I like of that area is the weather. Lo que me encanta esa zona es el clima. It's fresh. It's very fresh. Yes. Yeah, I used to go teach a class there. Uh, last year, I used to go teach a class there at night. El año pasado iba a dar una clase ahí por las noches. And man, it's so fresh. Well, 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 well. How long have you been working in your company, Oscar? Repeat. How long have you been working for the company? One uh, year, two years, three years? Um, five years. Four? Yes. Four years. Five. Oh, five. Okay. Five. In, and what specifically is your area? Uh, water and sanitation. Okay. 
What does and it involve? Look at this question. What does it involve? I don't know. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm Sorry. gonna fix it for you. Check it out. What does it involve? Okay, uh, what I'm asking you, let me say it, let me state it in a formal way. Lo que le estoy preguntando de una manera formal sería, eh, ¿qué actividades encompasa el cargo que tiene o la posición? Ah, ok. Uh, I'm um, CEO okay. in Atur de El Salvador. Ok. Y planning. Uh, um, uh, check um, ne negociar uh, negotiate negotiate uh, propuestas Pro proposals 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 all right, all right. um um, um formulation project okay formulate project formulate formulate okay so yes. that means that yes. means my friend that you keep busy se mantiene ocupado uh, yes you keep busy oh yeah it's cool the same as we were talking about uh sonia that she's in charge of a lot of things so when you have to coordinate uh, big uh, activities, I mean, the responsibilities and the stress is a little bit higher. Y también el estrés es un poquito mayor. Es mayor. Yes. Yes. Y quizás para compartir eh, mis socios. Yes. Ten tenemos socios eh, salvadoreños, pero socios extranjeros también, eh, que solo hablan inglés. Y por eso para mí esto es importante. Okay, just your business partners. Yes. Just be your partner. Your business partners. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, and in your area specifically the problem is that you have to fulfill you have to fulfill with uh, international and national and international standards, I guess. Yes. Listen guys, they have to fulfill Ellos tienen que darle cumplimiento, fulfill, to national and international standards. Yeah, because it's very delicate. Eh, y movilizamos capital. Hemos yeah. creado un fideicomiso para financiar agua potable y saneamiento. Oh, really? Eh, en el país y la región, eh, Centroamérica. That's cool. That's great, actually. Yeah, yeah I mean... When you and the good thing is that you got the opportunity to work with uh, people from other countries. Tell me, your partners are from the? Do they speak English? Uh, sorry, no entendí todo, pero uh, your partners. Yes. Do they speak English? Yes. Oh, okay, that's cool. And I mean. So you need to pay attention to classes, Oscar. We need to work a lot. Yes. Por eso estoy acá. Acabo de estoy llegando ahora. Cansa, okay. sudado, por cierto. Okay. <laughs> Thank look, you. Look. Uh, an informal way of saying this, una manera informal de decir lo que me acaba de decir es, that's why, that's why I am here. But in your case, you need also to know the formal way. Esa es la forma informal. That's why I'm here. The formal way will be that is the reason of me being here. That is the reason of me being here. That is the reason of me being here. Yes, that is the reason of me being here. Oh, I, I love speaking formally. Me encanta cuando uno habla formal. The problem is that when I'm teaching English, I mean, uh, 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 people are sometimes more interested in the everyday English. Normalmente las personas se interesan mucho en el inglés diario. 
Okay. But formal English is also very important. And it's something that some people like uh, they don't uh, focus on. Muchas personas no se enfocan en ello. By the way, yesterday I was listening to something and and, and, and thank you very much, Oscar. Thank you, thank you. And yesterday I was listening to a comment uh, from one of you and yes, I knew that's something that I will explain. And I, I mean, I oversaw that aspect the other day. Uh, guys, sorry, I will switch into Spanish for a second. Perdón, voy a pasar solo a español completo por un momento. Uh, del beginners one al beginners two. Quienes estuvieron conmigo el módulo pasado se podrán dar cuenta que le ha aumentado el ritmo. My speaking. Estoy hablando más rápido. Ok. I am speaking faster. And also the type of vocabulary I am implementing in the class has gone a little bit up. Al igual que el tipo de vocabulario que estoy utilizando ha aumentado un poco. Ok. The main reason is this. I mean... Uh, I know you are making an effort. La razón principal es esta. Yo sé que ustedes están haciendo un esfuerzo. Y el esfuerzo de ustedes sería en vano si yo los mantengo con el mismo vocabulario que vimos en, la, en el módulo 1. Sería en vano si yo mantengo la misma velocidad cuando realmente las personas en su diario vivir en inglés van más rápido. El nivel de vocabulario y la calidad de vocabulario eh, debe incrementarse. Ahora bien, eso no quiere decir que simplemente yo hablo, hablo, hablo y voy rápido, rápido y ustedes no me entendieron ni mala suerte. Por favor, todos saben, en el momento que no me entienda, you can stop me. Usted me, me detiene. Si voy, si hablo muy suave, porque también ese es otro de los problemas, por eso es que hoy tengo más el micrófono cerca. Este, me decían un comentario, cuando hablo en español, realmente este es mi tono normal de voz, yo hablo suave. Y aparte de eso, el acento cambia cuando hablo de español a inglés. I mean, the accent, the pitch of my voice changes a little bit when I'm speaking in another language. El acento cambió cuando paso a otro lenguaje. So sometimes you can feel the switch. Algunas veces van a sentir el cambio. So if you do not understand something, please stop me. Si no entendemos algo, deténganme. As I told everybody at the beginning of the level one, this is not my class. Como les dije al inicio del nivel uno, esta no es mi clase. It is your class. Okay? And guys, eh, I'm dealing with adults. Estoy tratando con adultos. So in this case, the learning of English is the responsibility of all of us. El que ustedes aprendan inglés es responsabilidad de todos. And part of your responsibility is to stop me when something is not clear. Y parte de sus responsabilidades, por favor, deténganme cuando algo no esté claro. Si algo no quedó claro, una instrucción no se entendió, ask me again. Pregúntenme de nuevo. My responsibility is to look for a way to make it clearer to you. Mi responsabilidad es, si usted no quedó claro con la primera explicación, Buscar una o las maneras que sean necesarias para que sí quede claro. And that's my responsibility to all of you. Les repito, chicos, eh, no es mi clase, es la de ustedes. ¿Ok? Entonces, si en algo necesitamos mejorar, cuento con ustedes para que, por favor, me lo hagan saber. La idea es que todos avancemos al mismo ritmo, que nadie se me quede y que nadie se me siente incómodo si algo no quedó claro. I mean, please, that's going to help all of us. Eso nos va a servir a todos. So, uh, I repeat, if something is not clear, stop me. Ask me again. Si algo no está claro, deténgame. Pregúnteme de nuevo. As many times as necessary. Las veces que sea necesario. And it's the same. I will correct you as many times as necessary as the word gets in. Y es igual de mi parte. Le voy a corregir las veces que sea necesario. Don't feel bad for that, but remember, that's also part of the learning. No se me van a sentir mal, solo recuérdense que es parte del aprendizaje. It's like the problem we are having with Edwin. Edwin having problem with organize. That word is hard for him. 
and he practices and the next day he got the same thing and no problem. I mean, we can repeat it as many times as necessary. Lo repetiremos las veces que sea necesario. The idea is here. My compromise is to help you, to provide you with the tools needed from you to acquire the language. Mi compromiso es darles a ustedes las herramientas necesarias para que ustedes puedan adquirir el idioma. So, help me out. Ayúdenme ustedes. When something is not clear, ask me. Straight out. Cuando algo no esté claro, pregúnteme directamente. Ok? I mean, as I told you, I'm here for you guys. Yo estoy acá para ustedes. So, any question? Comments? No? Cool. Ok, I'm sorry guys. I need to take the attendance. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Let's see, let's see. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Ivani Elizabeth Rodriguez Ramos. Traffic. Okay, she's in traffic. Karen Lizeth Garcia Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present, teacher. Thanks. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Rodriguez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sandra. I saw Sandra. Juraría que vi a Sandra acá. Yes. There is Sandra. She's connecting. Okay. Uh, Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio Martinez Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Alexander Arana Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Oops, what did I do? Okay, you see my follow up right here. Okay, guys, let's start with this. Let's see. I need to know about your... We have been talking about daily activities but today we are going to talk about daily activities, weekly activities, and monthly activities, okay? Like daily, daily. Those are activities that I perform every day. Like, let me see, in my job, my daily activities, well, um, I prepare my classes on every, actually, I prepare them every Sunday. Las preparo domingo. But during the week, before the class, durante la semana, antes de la clase, I take like half an hour to check that everything is ready and sometimes to change information. So I prefer classes weekly, okay? I prefer my classes weekly. I check my classes daily, okay? And monthly, uh, well, no, actually weekly, I also prepare reports uh, for the Ministry of Education and for INSAFORP. So that's, those are activities that I perform uh, weekly. Let's see, what about you, Vladimir? Tell me some activities, tell me at least two activities that you perform daily. Daily and monitor the cyber tools, cybersecurity tools. Okay. And what about, research, yes? research information about cyber attacks, um, vulnerabilities, etc. 
Okay, those are activities that you do every day. Daily, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Monthly, I prepare a report of the of the month. Okay, so you prepare one report every month. Yes, for like for a general the, yes, one. Yes, for the statistics. Okay, perfect. I hate that word, statistics. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Alfonso, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. How are you, Alfonso? And tell me, how was your day? Um, a little tired. Of, uh, oh, really? In the mom, como hace un momento? Just a moment ago. Just a moment ago, one problem uh, with myself. Oh, really? Yes, for welcome. Oh, that's a problem. This is, this is the, 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 the cell phone. This is new. It's problem, the com compatibilidad. Compatibility. Compatibility. Entonces, tocó actualizar en el momento. Actualidad. Oh, yeah. To actualize. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. That's a problem. The, actually, it's not to actualize. It's to update. Okay. Uh, for for lo demás, um, and today is a little tighter for uh, the clean machine. El toco limpiar máquinas. Okay. 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 Let's see. What up that? Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat is giving me problems. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. Thank you. What about that activity, mister? Uh, cleaning machines. Is that an activity that you perform daily, weekly, monthly? Uh, what does it mean in Spanish? Okay, that activity, cleaning machines. Yes. Okay, do you do it every day, daily? Do you do it um, every month, monthly? Do you do it every week, weekly? Si lo hace todos los días, daily. Every week, weekly. Once a week, okay? Una vez a la semana es weekly. Okay. One time, once a month, una vez al mes, monthly. That activity, tell me, do you perform it? Daily, weekly, monthly? Uh, uh, number two. Uh, la number weekly, dos. weekly. Weekly. Yes, weekly. Okay, tell me. Oh, yes? Um, some, uh, why the three, three levels? Some, some tres niveles. Oh, really? Um, the, the, <clears throat> the fight. Uh, 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 forty-five machines. Forty-five machines. Forty-five machines. Wow. Four, four level. Wow, that's awesome. Yes. What machines. type of machines are those? ¿Qué tipo de máquinas son? Uh, hidráulicas. Okay. Hidráulicas. Uh, Hydraulic. Okay, tell me. What Hydraulic. do you What do you check on them? ¿Qué es lo que les revisa? Fugas de aceite. Okay, 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 okay. Oil leaks. Oil, Oil leaks. Oil leaks. Leaks, fugas. Okay. Oh, that's, Oil, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eso también significa goteos. Okay. Okay. Um, the clean uh, the platforms, la plataforma. Okay. La limpiamos for... 
What about leaks? Leaks, 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 What about, did you check seals? Yeah. Seals, sellos, empaques? Yes. Okay, inter. Cables. Okay, the cables. What type of cables? Tension cables, electrical cabling. Wiring, yes. wiring. Okay, so in this case, if it's electrical, it's not cables, it's wires. So, ambos. Okay, so cables and wires, because wires, the wiring is electrical. Okay? El okay. wiring es el cableado. Wiring es cableado. When we talk about the electrical side, cuando hablamos de lo eléctrico. Okay, so you also work with the electricity side of the of the machines. También ven la parte eléctrica. Yes. Okay, tell me, what is the tension that uh, those machines work with? ¿Con qué tensión trabajan? Voltage. When Voltage. They, yeah, when um, they ask you about the tension, they are asking you about specifically, and I'm sorry, guys, uh, in this level, I will get more into your specific areas of working. Me estoy informando y por eso les estoy preguntando un poquito más a todos ustedes específicamente lo que hacen, porque este, parte de lo que yo también voy a hacer es buscar información relacionada a sus áreas, vocabulario relacionado a sus áreas, de las áreas que no conozco, para preguntarles de eso. Con la única que no me voy a meter es con Sonia. I don't understand that. Ahí sí me <risa> No, don't worry. I will, I will. I will look for, I will educate myself. Me educaré. Ok, okay tell me, Alfonso, so. In voltage, um, the, uh, the 240 uh, voltage? Yes. Okay, so those machines are uh, monophasic or triphasic? Triphasic. Triphasic. Okay, so you have to, yes. in the connection, they change the wiring to adapt a uh, triphasic to work with 240 and uh, in the connections in the wiring in the connection of the wiring in the connections del alambreado de la máquina mm -hmm. a switch in order for them to work with 220 220 with triphasic se hace un intercambio para que 220 trabaje triphasic yes ah. um Para decirle, hay una cajita, está la cajita transformadora de cada yeah. una de ellas. Yeah, 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 it's a control box. Control box, correct. Yeah, that's a control box, yeah. In your area, uh, it's going to be easy for me. Su área va a ser fácil para mí. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand that a little bit. I used to work with a uh, high tension. Yo trabajé con alta tensión también. Ah, okay. And, very good. In, in my life, I have work of many different things. Yo he trabajado todo un poquito. So yeah, oh. I, I used to work with 360, trabajaba con 360, 480, 480, uh, primary lines, primarias, and also with uh, uh, substations, subestaciones. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> so it's going otra to be que... fun. Yes, I mean. But eh, in English. Otra, in English. Eh, in is... English. Oh. Okay, okay. Others is um, the the uh, the home homeward, uh, in my house uh, com, com, white computer with computer with computer okay uh, computer the in desktop and laptop oh really you also work in the with hardware hardware and software hardware and software oh so you will so get so a so you will get along with Vladimir. Vladimir is really into it. Entonces se entendería mucho con Vladimir. Él está mucho en eso. Uh, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Estuve, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería? Estuve trabajando. I was working. I was working for um, nine, nine years old. For nine years. For, in, for nine years. Yes. Okay. In in the area of the computer. Okay, in the computers area. In the computers area. Okay. Okay. And cyber coffee. 
Oh, really? That's good. Yes. So you got, I mean, different areas. That's important. It's always good. Oh, well, thank yes. you very much, Alfonso. Thank you. Now, let's see, let's see. Susana, hello. Hello. How are you? Good. OK, Susana, hey. I need you to tell me specifically two activities that you perform weekly. Weekly. Yes, that I means. Make, yes. I make invoice and prepare um, despachos. Oh, entregas, ¿cómo se dice? Deliveries. Ok, deliveries. And, um, and enter new requirements. 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 Ok. Requirements. okay. Requirements. Requirement. Ok, excelente. Those are activities that you perform just weekly. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. What about you, Sonia? Tell me, two activities that you perform weekly. That means once a week. Weekly, for example, um, weekly and uh, check and authorize, I check and authorize a payment, payment. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Me corrió solo. And petty cash. Petty, um, petty cash. Petty cash. For example, ah, uh, um, I'm meeting with my um, the work team. Okay. For feedback. Okay, perfect. Just check this. I mm -hmm. meet with. I meet with. Meeting. Uh -huh. You use it with. You have the verb have. I have meetings. Okay. Okay. Or you say I meet. Me reúno. Okay, I meet with my work team okay. uh, for uh, feedback. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And I meet with clients. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Sonia. Let's see, where's Karen? Karen, hello. I just hello, teacher. A little bit. Tell me, Karen, please tell me two activities that you perform weekly. Um, I make electronic payment payments. Perfect. Um, invoice size. Invoice. Facturar size. Okay. Sales. Sales. Perdón. Sales. Facturar ventas. Okay, that's cool. But actually, facturar. In this case, you can say bill. Bill. Yes. Okay. Bill. Como billete. Bill. Bill. Okay. To be specific in your area, para ser más específicos, to bill eh, the, 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 the sales. Yo siempre había visto la palabra invoice, por ejemplo, en, las, en los embarques, ¿verdad? Yes. Tiene un oh, documento. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. But the invoice en un embarque. Mm -hmm. The invoice is a specific, specifically the document where you have uh -huh. the, 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 I mean, I'm sorry for repeating myself, specified uh -huh. what comes in the shipment. Uh -huh. El invoice es el documento que le especifica exactamente lo que viene en el embarque. Uh -huh. Okay, I mean, the one that... Uh, yes. Bills, había escuchado, no, no lo sabía, ¿verdad? Pero lo había okay. escuchado para, para recibos, como lo, yes. lo que nosotros llamamos acá los recibos de, de los servicios, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. You bill for services. But the invoice is the document that specifies what you are getting or what you are sending. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. It's like okay. when you... Well, it's like when you are getting products like from another country, es como cuando recibimos productos de otro país, and you need to, to present uh, all the documents for the for custom. Y necesitamos presentar toda la documentación para custom. Uh, how do you say customs? Uh, Clientes. Uh, no, no, customs, customs. Customers. That's customers. But I'm talking about customs. Uh, customs. Aduana. Okay. That's ah, para aduanas. Yes. Okay. When you when you present the, the all the paperwork, 
or, or the documents to customs office, uh, there you have to present all the invoice. Okay, the company that is perhaps sending you according to your requirements, you just el pedido de acá, manda el requirement over there, they send you the invoice of the shipment, le envían a uno el invoice con el shipment. Um, when you present, when you go to receive the product, you have to show and they check that everything that is in the invoice, se revisa que todo lo que está en el invoice is exactly yes. of the shipment. Otherwise, yeah. we have problems. De lo contrario, tenemos problemas. Mm -hmm. uh, ok, perfect. entonces lo que, lo que yo hago semanal sería eh, bills, facturar okay. ventas, bill size. Sales, sales. 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 Yes. Okay, the same. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, and remember for the rest of you, you build somebody when you ask, when you tell that person how much he or she or the company is going to pay you for a service provided or for a product delivered. Okay. Service. Okay. Esto es para todos. Cuando nosotros build someone or the company, cuando nosotros le mandamos el bill, build the company. Mm -hmm. Lo uh -huh. que está haciendo es facturándole por un servicio o por un producto, ¿ok? In both instances, you use the word bill, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, excelente. And... Tengo una consulta, perdón, yes. sobre ese tema. Y en mi caso, que, que fabricamos el producto del cliente, eh, todas las veces yo digo, I make invoice the orders. Ok. Is correct? Uh, be more specific, por, please, please. Sea más específica, porfa. No le capte bien. ¿Puedo en español? Yes, say it. <laughs> ok. Este, en mi caso, el servicio es que le hacemos la medicina a otro laboratorio. Ok. Entonces, eh, las veces que yo he dicho sobre lo que hago es, I make invoice the orders. Ok. I make... Let's make it even clearer. Vamos a hacerlo más claro por, para que no quedemos más confundidos, ¿ok? The invoice is the paper, the document. Yes, you make invoice, you prepare an invoice for the order, ¿ok? Invoice es el papel específicamente. Lo que yo trataba de explicar, y quizás, perdón que se los explique en español, pero sí quiero que quedemos claro porque sé que muchos trabajan en áreas related to it, trabajan en áreas relacionadas con eso, es que invoice es la factura. Es, el... es la ah, factura. Okay. El pero la acción. Ok, the action you perform is bill. No. Ok, la acción que usted hace cuando le factura a alguien mm -hmm. es bill. Ok. That's the difference. Entonces yo diría, I make bills the orders. Hmm? Lo mío sería, eh, no, I make I, bills the orders. I, ok, listen. ¿Qué es lo que hace específicamente? Dígame. Usted prepara el... Pre, ok. O sea, ingreso you, un pedido, el sistema tanto aplico y sale la factura. You, You prepare the invoice for billing the company. That's oh, what you sí. do. To be specific. Para ser específico, oh, you prepare sí. the invoice for billing the company. Ok. Oh, ok. For billing the company. Ok, thank you. Oh, no problem, no problem. It's interesting. I like it when you make it, make me look for the vocabulary in my mind. Me encanta cuando me hacen buscar palabras que... I don't use regularly. It's actually good. Okay. Y ayer nos, nos enseñó la diferencia entre revisar y por primera vez o por segunda vez. ¿verdad? Yeah, I mean, it's good that we are going to be like getting more vocabulary. In this level, we are going to be using more vocabulary. Yo decía review, pero no, no. Check. check, check, check. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's continue. Who else is here? Where is uh, Mr. Leiva? Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. Great. Thank you. Tell me, Mr. Leiva, okay. I need to know about 
your weekly activities. Tell me two activities you perform weekly, please. Okay, this is it's very hard for me. No problem, no well, problem. Well, 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 um, and I have meeting with an uh, operator of weather systems. Okay. And, and I am, I check the, the water lakes. Okay. And the tuberia, tuberia spades. Okay, plumbing. Plumbing, okay. Yeah, plumbing. And, and check uh, water lakes on the tanques, tank. Container. Okay. Tanque de almacenamiento. De okay, agua. listen, listen, listen. First. The storage tank. Vaya. Primero, Luis. Eh, leaks. Leaks is the pronunciation. Leaks. Leaks. Okay. okay. Now, tell me, what size are these containers of water? ¿De qué tamaño son estos contenedores? Those water um, tanks. How many barrels can they fit? 100, 100 metros barrels? cúbicos, 100 metros cúbicos, Ooh. 200, 400, 500. That, yeah, that means if we tenemos que por metro cúbico estamos poniendo 8 point something, <laughs> right? Ponemos como cuántos barriles, 8 y algo. Uh, we are talking about a lot. Cinco Cada barriles. metro cúbico tiene 5 barriles de agua. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I was, I was making the conversion with oil. Este, hacía la conversión con barril de aceite. And it's, there's a difference when you make those conversions. Okay, in this case, you are talking about big tanks. Those big tanks got a name in French, actually. El, so, nombre, el nombre de eso es, proviene del francés. Actually. Okay. Actually. A reservoir. It's a reservoir. 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 Oh, reservoir. Yep. Okay. I mean, yes. you're talking about, uh, it's actually a tank. Okay. Uh -huh. But it's, uh, when we talk about the reservoir, we are talking a huge tank. Hablamos de un tanque grande. Okay. It's not like, okay. the, it's not like the tank that you make a, Instead of making a cistern, some people have a tank or they have a, well, nowadays they put a, they put a tank and they make it in, there are plastic tanks that are cisterns. Realmente hoy en día hay tanques plásticos que son cisternas, right? Mm -hmm. But those okay. are like, like uh, what? What's the biggest? Where is lo más grande? I mean, 12, perhaps 12 cubic, cubic meters, no matter cubics, cubic meters, okay? Cubic Cubic meter. Estamos hablando de cubic meter. Okay. So, in this case, what you work with are big reservoirs of water. Okay. But this word, esa palabra viene directamente del francés y se utiliza solamente para eso. Eh, en algunas situaciones lo van a utilizar para pequeños embalses. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And and that's uh, that's actually a very es una palabra un poquito más antigua, okay? Muy bien. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I mm. mean it's been a mm. long while without using it. Créame, tenía and I make 15 años and I make a, and I make a diagnosis of the water systems. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very hard for me. <laughs> no problem, no problem, no problem. I, I make a diagnosis of uh, water systems. Okay. Of, of operator, their systems. So you work in the operating area. Okay. Yes, you work in the operating area, not on the, on the water quality area. Tu area es la okay. operativa. Sí, yes, operator area. So you work with the pumps, with the plumbings, trabaja con las, uh, the Plane. pumps, pumps, las bombas, plumbing, yes. the tubería, okay, yeah. That's actually yeah. interesting, eso es muy interesante. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those pumps are awesome. It's a, the pumping equipment is awesome. El equipo de bombeo que utilizan is amazing. It's great, okay. it's great. Thank you very much, Luis. Okay, thank you, teacher. Teacher, oh, a, yes, a teacher. question. Uh, uh, extras, extras, uh, hablando de water extra tank, uh, is correct? Yeah, you can say a water storage. Water yes. storage. Water storage. No, no, no. Listen, listen to me. Water storage. Water storage. Like that, perfect. Water storage tank. It's correct. ¿Qué quiere decir it's, storage? It's, uh, almacenamiento. Uh, almacenamiento. It's also a verb. También es un verbo, almacenar. Mm -hmm. Storage. Thank you. Teacher, in, in IT, the storage is a word for uh keep data storage yeah. also you storage data you storage you storage data perhaps on a on a hard drive on a on a usb stick or in the cloud or in the cloud well nowadays a lot of people storage store store actually people store the information in the cloud and also in external devices and algunos in Devices, uh, oh man, I'm thinking in two languages, too complex. USB, USB or, yeah, but or hard uh, disk, hard disk, or the, yeah. And now this actually, actually, I mean, before we used to plug into the hard drive, antes conectábamos los discos externos al hard drive. Now, yes, with a USB connection, you can have everything, and you can carry a lot of information. I mean, like data so little thing like this yes uh, it's easy yeah storage is also using that area thank you very much so let's see let's see let's see who else is around oh let me change something i'm sorry guys just give me a second okay i need to do fix something there is something here and 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 where is it right here i'm sorry that i need to have everybody with their names okay guys oops give me just a minute my breath okay perfect now i have it let's see well as you have seen we have spent one hour speaking and for the ones who were with me before, igual, eh, voy a hacer estas aclaraciones por los que tengo nuevos, quienes estuvieron conmigo saben que algunas clases pasamos, perhaps half of the class just conversation, okay? Pasamos quizás la mitad de la clase en conversación. It's because we are preparing for something or perhaps we are consolidating something. A veces que nos estamos preparando y a veces que estamos consolidando. In this case, it's both. We are checking about the activities that we perform in our companies. That's something that we started working with last, uh, last module. And also we are preparing to what we are going to talk about today. And I have a small presentation, a PowerPoint presentation about a topic that I need to share with you. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm sorry, I need to take notes sent PPT. The devil, la PPT de ayer y la de ahora. As I told you, if I don't write it, I forget it. Si no lo escribo, lo olvido. I just wrote it. Lo acabo de escribir. Here's, here's, here's one problem, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Today, we are going to make a review. This is something that you saw last module, but we are going to see it a little bit different in this one. Eso es algo que ya vimos, pero lo vamos a ver un poquito diferente. We are going to talk about how much, how many, okay? Do you remember how much? Like, hey, Sonia, you got earrings? Yes? Yes. Okay, I don't need the exact information, okay? No necesito la información exacta. But tell me, how much are those earrings? How much? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> Be creative, please. No, how much? I guess almost twenty dollars. Ah, no. Quanto? Ah, no. Um, estos, um, 
¿Cómo es aproximadamente? Approximately. Approximately dollars. Es que la, What? Nadie se le va a comer. I'm sorry, 20 I'm sorry. Twenty dollars. Okay. You can say like twenty dollars, like twenty dollars. El verbo like es el verbo gustar, pero en ocasiones lo utilizamos para decir cómo. Okay. Así. Like twenty, like twenty dollars, around twenty dollars. Around. Because approximately is too complex. And I mean, it's mm -hmm. the conversation we are having is more informal, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. It's different if I ask Oscar for, uh, hey, Oscar, please tell me. Uh, just an example, Oscar, don't worry, don't worry. It's different if I ask Oscar, hey, Oscar, uh, how much do you think a project in my neighborhood could cost? Imagínese que yo le pregunto, mire, este, ¿cuánto cree que cueste un proyecto en my neighborhood? En, uh, uh, en mi vecindario, because he works with big quantities, he can give me just an, uh, and it's a very formal question because mm -hmm. it's the company, okay? He says, oh, approximately, aproximadamente, you see? It's One because, million. Yeah. Oh man, that's horrible. You see, the, the, the conversation is different. The vocabulary is different. In your case, it was informal. Let's see, let's see who's being very quiet. Arvin, where are you, Arvin? Hi, teacher. Hello, Arvin. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, Arvin, uh, how, how many uh, how many cell phones are there in your house? Um, excuse me? How many cell phones are there in your house? Um, ¿Cuántos celulares tengo en mi casa? Yes. Oh, ok. And in my house, um, uh, two, two cell phones. Ok, there are, in my house, there are two cell phones. There are two cell phones. Ok, perfect. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you. Ok, Sandra, where are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Sandra. Tell me, how many clients did you call today? Did you contact in this day? Sandra. ¿Cómo es? Aproximadamente? Aproxi. Around, around. Alrededor de. Around. Yes. I think. Como digo, 400. Contactó 400 clientes. That's what I'm asking you. En okay. gestión aproximadamente. <coughs> Pero no a diario. Okay, that's what Contact I'm asking you. ¿Cuántos contacté? Yes, I ask you, how many clients did you get in touch? Get in touch. Get in touch is another word, another way to say contact. Es otra manera de decir que contacto. Get in touch. How many clients did you get in touch today? And she tells me around 10. Thank you very much, Sandra. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Okay, Mauricio. Yours is easy. Don't worry, don't worry. La suya está fácil. Tell me. How many, uh, no, how much water did you drink today? So much. One, mm, many, two liter, liters. Around two liters, okay. You can also tell me. I drink, I, I drink. Water. Uh, I drink. Okay, okay listen. Yo tomo listen, agua. Listen, escucha. As I ask you, how much, como le pregunto, how much, you have two options. Cuando le pregunto de algo incontable, because how much, remember, is used for prices, se utiliza para precios, like when I asked Sonia, how much were her earrings? Cuando le pregunté cuánto costaban sus earrings, 
Pero en su caso le pregunto, ¿cuánta agua? Remember, litros. how much is cuánta o cuánto? In this case, uno a dos how litros. much, ok, listen, that's from one to two liters, ok? Because if you remember, in this case, él me está dando la unidad de medida. He could also have told me, pudo haberme dicho, just a little. Or he could have told me, oh, a lot of water. I drank a lot of water. Pudo haberme dicho, tomé mucha agua. Okay? Because as it is uncountable, como es algo incontable, you can say a little or a lot. Puedo decirme. Pero el agua es contabilizable. No, es not. Claro que sí. Of course not. It's measurable. Es medible. But it's not countable. Medible, ok. What you tell me is the, the medition unit. Una unidad de medida. Exactly. Remember, that's what we must be aware. Es de lo que tenemos que tener cuidado with countables and uncountables. Ok, it's like sand, es como la arena. If you are buying sand for constructing something, si usted está comprando... Metro cúbico. Exactly, you ask for meters, cubic meter, ok. Water, you are talking about the units of measurements, ok, unidades de medida. But this, the liquid specifically is not countable. El líquido no es contable. Okay. No. Es medible. Yes. It's measurable. I will write that, this word. Measurable. Measurable. Okay. Thank you very much. Interesting. Interesting. Walter uh, Ayala. Hello. Hello. Tell me. Uh, well, you work with uh, GPS tracking, right? Yes. Okay, tell me, how many how many trucks do you track on a day, on a daily basis? With travel, maybe 80. 80? Maybe 80. So you have to track all that information? Wow. Yes. That's heavy. That's heavy. You yeah. see, it's easy. I asked him how many trucks countable. I needed numbers. Okay. Me estaba preguntando por números. Specific. But I have 221. Assigned. Assign, Assignados. Yes. Okay. Assign. Let me see. The card, the pencil, maybe 180. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay, truck. Tr trucks, trucks, Evelyn, trucks. Truck. truck. And uh, truck. We are talking about trucks. Yes, trucks. Trucks. Camiones. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember, when we talk about trucks, we are talking trucks in general. It could be like an 18 wheeler. Podría ser un 18 wheeler. I don't remember. 18 wheelers. Con algunos de ustedes creo que toqué ese tema, right? Do you know what is an 18 wheeler, everybody? An 18 wheeler is uh, lo que nosotros llamamos rasta. 18, 18 wheelers, las 18 yep. ruedas. Yep, exactly. Or you can, they are also called semis. También le llaman semis, okay? That's an 18 wheeler, semi. Uh, uh, and I remember telling someone, I think it was you, Mauricio, creo que con usted fue, but I told them that in, uh, in the United Kingdom, you say articulator trucks. Sí, con nosotros fue. Articulated trucks. En el United Creo que con Vladimir y conmigo fue yeah. eso. In the United Kingdom, you say, you call them articulated. Articulated trucks. 
you use that expression in, oops, I'm sorry, I think I sent it just to Vladimir. Yes, for everybody. Articulado. Okay, that expression, you use it in the United Kingdom and you use it also in the Australia, New Zealand. In Nueva Zelanda, in Australia, in the Reino Unido, you don't say 18 wheelers or semi. You say uh, articulated. Semi, you use it mostly in Canada. In Canada, it's not semi. Okay. Well, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. What? Why am I asking this? Por qué pregunto esto? Let me show you something. Déjenme mostrarles algo, but hold on. I need to get attendance again. Wow, time flies. Okay, Alfonso Enrique, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Karen Litzet García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Thank you. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, and I need to text something to... Oh, 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 just give me a second. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, um, I'm going to share with you some info. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Let me check, let me check. Today we're going to work with uh, how much, how many? Okay, how do we use how much and how do we use how many? Okay, we say how much. You, we use it to ask about price and uncountable nouns. Remember, uncountable nouns. How many? You use it to ask about countable nouns. We use numbers when, we, when somebody asks us using how many, okay? Now, in this case, there are eight circles, right? If somebody comes and asks you, how many circles are there? You say, oh, there are eight circles, right? Now, how many balloons are there, Sonia? Tell me. How many balloons? Yeah, how many balloons are there? There. There are two balloons. 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 Perfect, thank you. There are two balloons. Excellent. Okay, we use how much plus uncountable noun. How much time do we have to finish the exam? How much money did you spend? How much sugar would you like in your coffee? How much milk is in the fridge? How much traffic was there on the way to work? If the verb to be is used with an uncountable noun, it is in singular form, okay? How much milk is in the fridge, okay? 
It is singular. ¿Cuánta leche hay? Singular. So we say there is. How much can also be used when we want to know the price of something? In this case, we can use how much with countable nouns, both singular and plural noun. Okay? When we are asking about prices, we use how much for singular or plural. Like with the case of Sonia, I ask her, how much are your earrings? Plural. But I was asking about the price, remember. How much is that painting? How much are those shoes? How much did your jacket cost? How much is the dress on display in the window? How much will it cost me? How much does it cost? Okay, these questions are very formal, remember. How much is that painting? How much are those shoes? How much does your jacket cost? How much is the dress on display in the window? How much will it cost me? How much does it cost? How many is used when we want to know the quantity of something? It is only used in, with plural countable noun. How many plus plural? Remember, it's used when we want to know the quantity, the number. That's why it's used with countable nouns, plural. Look at the example. How many days are there in January? How many people work in your company? How many cousins do you have? How many books did you buy? How many countries are there in the world? How many students are in the class right now? How many chairs are there in this room? How many pieces of chocolate would you like? Now, with these questions, we are going to do an exercise. Okay, guys. Instructions for the activity. Wow, time's running. You will choose three of those questions I just sent you. Escoge tres. And you ask it to your partner. You are going to have five minutes for that activity. Hurry up because we need to come back and work on the manual. So five minutes thought. You are going to be working in pairs. Okay, guys, groups are created. Please jump in. Esto sería, um, there are 500. There are, ¿cuántas? 500 personas. 500. En toda la empresa, en toda la empresa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O solo en mi. Uh, 500, en tu compañía. En tu compañía, en mi compañía, there are 500. Five, five. 500. Uh, Hola. Uy, Hola, Evelyn. Hello. Hello, Mauricio. Hola. Hi, Mauricio. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, next question. 
Ando lento, teacher, ando lento. Ando lento. Don't worry, don't worry. We are in the middle of the week. I asked Mauricio. Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde están las preguntas? ¿En qué página? Teacher, página donde estaban las preguntas. En the WhatsApp group. Sí, no me gusta verlo ahí. Oh, ah, sí, es la, la presentación. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Ok, ok. Eh, home in, yo voy a preguntar una. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dos personas hablándome al mismo tiempo. Sonia, what? What is coaching? Primos. Sobrinos. Ah, primos. Son primos. Primos. Yep. Ok. How many coaching do you have? How many I, I have? How I many have? cousins? I have. I have two cousins. Es primo y prima, indiferente, es neutro. Teacher? Yeah. Cousins, yes. It applies for male and female. Okay. Ya pregunté. Ahora pregunto yo. Okay. Eh, voy primero con Sonia. Eh, how many How many books did you buy? Eso es cuánto voy a comprar. No. Compró. ¿Cuántos libros ha comprado? Compró. No. Compró. Ha, ha comprado es distinto. Compró. When? One. Be more specific. Uh -huh. Es indefinido. No, because if you ask me, how many books did you buy? Si usted me pregunta cuántos libros he comprado. Wow, in my whole life, like, uh, I don't know, a Cientos. thousand. Yeah, hundreds. No, perhaps more. More than a thousand. Más que Miles. Yeah, I read like three per week. Me leo como dos o tres a la semana. Wow. No, okay. por eso, pero eso es cuántos ha comprado y es diferente. No, 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 no. En este caso le han preguntado cuántos compró. That's why you need to be more specific. Por eso debe ser más específico. How many, like this, how many books did you buy for your kids this year? You see? How many books did you buy for your kids this year? ¿Cuántos libros compró para sus hijos? Para sus hijos este año. Exactly. Uh, yeah. um, también hay how much water is in the sea. Cuánta agua hay en el mar. Sorry. Okay, guys. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. De las preguntas que les envié, what I need you is to ask and answer. Que se hagan y se las pregunten. Okay. Uh, y he puesto esta, teacher. Okay. How, how many, many parts? Part In are the, there in, in the city. city? Okay. Una ciudad. Are, okay, Edwin, you ask that question to Arvin. Usted le hace esa pregunta uh -huh. a Arvin and sí, you sí. write the answer. Ahorita primero íbamos a sacar las preguntas y ya íbamos a poner la respuesta. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Ajá. Este, ¿esta le parece, teacher? Yeah, How no, much it's... pollution is there in El Salvador? Yeah, it's perfect. Excellent. Thanks, no, teacher. He, no he dicho nada. Never mind. <laughs> Olvídense <laughs> de mí. <laughs> Según la ONU. Say what? Oh. 193. Según la ONU. What do you say ONU in English? ONU. ONU. Uh, the United Nations. The UN. Ah, okay. Actually, it's the UN. Realmente the UN. Yes. Ah, 193. Okay. Because it's actually the United Nations organization, but in English they just say the UN, the United Nations and Naciones Unidas. I guess that guys don't recognize, recognize like a country, Palestina, I guess. Mm, mm, mm. I think not. Creo que no. Verdad? Yeah, I mean that problem with the with the with Gaza, it's that's I mean, okay. That's yeah. all. Ese problema es viejísimo. Sí. Uh, okay. What do you say? 
Uh, um, let me explain. Walter asked me, how many counties do you have? And I told him, a lot of a lot of cousins. Yeah, you can say that I have many cousins, man. I got a I have, bunch. I have many cousins. Ah, okay. Yeah, I have a bunch of cousins. Yo tengo un montón. I have Yeah, I have a big family, pretty big family. A bunch of cousins. Okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Funny I Okay. Hola. Hello. Hola. Hello, teacher. Hello. They are. Teacher, tenemos una, una pregunta. Yes, ask me. Eh, don Oscar quiere responder que there are 50 person in my company o es there are, eh, in my company there are 50 person. ¿Cómo both, sería la respuesta? Both ways are okay. Las dos. Ah, okay. Perfect. The difference is this. La diferencia es esta. Si usted lo está escribiendo, if you're writing, you say, oh, there are 50 persons in my company. Seguido. In my company. Coma. Yes, because you make a pause. In my company, there are, you see, that pause, when you're writing, it means a comma. Okay? Okay. Excellent. In my company. Thank you. Y la otra respuesta que dimos es, and you say, there are two, oh? you, can say 50, you can say 50 people, puede decir 50 people, or you can say 50 persons. 50 person. 50 person, a las dos se puede. Yes, but, hmm, I would rather use persons. Yo les Pero people, people, no, no en sí ya refleja que es gente. personas, ajá, gente. Gente. Pero, pero mm -hmm. si yo digo 50 gen, 15 gentes, se oye raro. Pero en nuestro no, idioma. No, no. Yes, in... yes, yes, in our language. But the problem is this. I mean, uh, how can I explain this to you? ¿Cómo le explico esto? Uh, some things in my case, algunas cosas en mi caso, is mostly that, I mean, you will reach this point. Ustedes van a llegar a este punto. You will choose one word instead of the other because of the way it sounds. Van a llegar a escoger una palabra por encima de la otra de acuerdo a cómo suena. Eh, so, if you okay. say, there are 50 people in my company, it's okay. But if you say, there are 50 persons in my company, sounds better. Se oye mejor. Ok. Gracias, teacher. No problem. Y la otra respuesta que teníamos duda es, eh, si podemos, podemos responder, I buy buy one book. I buy, buy. buy. Okay. Tell I me the buy. question. Dígame Van la pregunta. Book. Dígame la pregunta. La pregunta era how many how many books. ¿Dónde está? Books you did, did you buy? Okay. That question that you have chosen, esa pregunta uh -huh. que me han escogido, it's too open. You need to make it more uh -huh. specific. Debemos de ser la más específica. How many books did you buy uh, last December? Ah, ok. That's more Porque specific. puede ser, no, puede ser que en la vida yeah. me está preguntando. Yeah, and if you, <laughs> if you ask me that, si usted me pregunta a mí, man, I read a lot. Yo me leo de dos a tres libros a la semana, so I have bought many books. Pero dice, dice, buy. Buy, buy, buy. I both. ¿Cómo lo pronuncio? Both. No, buy, present. Both, buy. past. Ah. Both. 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 All right. Okay, guys. Okay. Thank you. Later. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Pregunta, ¿cuántos, cuántos primos tengo? So yo le contesto, I have ah. a ten cousin. Entonces la respuesta para mí sería you have usted tiene you have yes you have yes, you has, has no 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 you have si usa el you es have he she y or me... it use has cuando decimos él o ella usamos has ok oh sí sí 
I have a question. Yes. And me is you have. Pero yo lo estoy diciendo de él. Ok, hold él on. tiene. Oh, in that case, si me dice él, he has. He, he has. Yes. Ah. He has. Sería entonces. Pero he has tendría que decirlo yo. Pues, si... Sí, no, entonces yes. mi, if, mi... Ok, the question is like this. La situación es esta, mire. If I ask you, Alfonso, si yo le pregunto, hey, how many cousins does Luis have? Ok. In that case, Alfonso tells me, Alfonso me dice, porque Alfonso le estoy preguntando, he tells me, he has 10 cousins, he has perhaps. Ten cousins. Ok. You see? He has a... Porque usted, Entonces, estamos hablando nosotros dos de una tercera persona. Si yo le pregunto, pregunto a usted, how many cousins do you have, Luis? Ok, I have 10 cousins. Okay, so you tell me that you have 10 cousins, right? Si la pregunta es uno a uno, es I y you nada más. Pero cuando mm -hmm. yo hablaba con usted, Alfonso, y hablaba de Luis, estamos hablando una de una tercera persona. Tercera persona. Tercera persona. He. In that case, it changed to has. Ahí es he donde has. cambia has. He has. Entonces, has. estaba en lo correcto en yo decir you have. Yes. You Hasta have. ese momento, sí. Es distinto cuando yo le pregunto a usted sobre él. He has. Exactly. Perfect. Ok. Si me pregunta de mí, de, de, de un tercero. Yep. ¿Qué sería cuando eh, regresemos a la Yes, sala, exactly. ¿no? Exactly. Ok. Let me go Entonces, check another group, please. Two, two question more. Two more questions. Oops. No, I came here already. Ya vine por aquí. Yes. Sí, ya vino. Ya terminamos. Ok, that's cool. Hello, Susana. I saw you alone. ¿Por qué la vi solita? Porque igual que tuvo que reiniciar la máquina, pero okay. hicimos las tres preguntas cada uno. Ok, perfecto. No questions here. No hay preguntas acá. Ajá. Puedo entrar. ¿Mm? No. Okay, 60 seconds. We go back to the main room. Okay. Walter se va a conectar luego. Perfect. Thank you. Everybody. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm still missing some people. Let's just give them a second. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's Evelyn? Where's Evelyn? Hello. Hello, Evelyn. I need you to ask one question to one of your partners. Okay. Uh, Sonia. Um, how many pieces of chocolate would you like? I don't like chocolate. <laughs> you Miren don't la like... cara que puso como que fueran pupusas. <laughs> you don't like chocolate. That's unacceptable. Mm. Chocolate <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> okay, listen up, Sonia. Pieces. 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 Okay. Pieces. Okay. Yeah, peace. Okay. Uh, pas. Peace. Um, Dark chocolate. Es actually that's chocolate. Ese es el bueno. The dark chocolate. Bueno, si estamos hablando de Yeah, I mean the sweet chocolate. 
That's not chocolate. I, and actually, I like eating chocolate. I don't like drinking chocolate. No. Ok. Hasta eso, no toma chocolate. Qué bárbaro. That's not for me. Ok, Sonia, you asked, uh, you were working with Mauricio, right? Yes, you asked okay. Mauricio. Um, Mauricio, how many people work in your company? Um, they are, uh, they are five, 500. Okay, perfect. Mauricio, please ask one question to Evelyn. Thank you, Sonia. Okay. Evelyn, how many students are in the class right now? No hay microphone. Evelyn. Sorry. There are 17 students in the class right now. Mm. Right Thank now, you. there are 15. <laughs> okay. Contesto. Okay. Contesto. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> answer. Thank you, both of you guys. Now, let's see. Next group. Arvin and Edwin. Please, Arvin, ask one question to Edwin. Okay. Edwin, how many parks are there, there in their city? There are three parks, Arvin. Okay, which city is that? Soyapango. Soyapango? <laughs> How many parks are there in Soyapango? Man, that's many. Okay, your question. You ask uh, Arvin, Edwin. Okay. Arvin, how, how much pollution is there in El Salvador? There is a lot of pollution in El Salvador. Perfect. There is, there is a lot, no lot. There is a lot of pollution. Me comí la... Okay, there is a lot of pollution in El Salvador. Pollution, guys, contaminación. Okay, pollution. Okay. I write it. I wrote it for you. Now, there is a lot of pollution in El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you very much, both of you. Thanks. Now let's see, next group is uh, Vladimir and Walter Arana. Okay, I Wait, start. Is Walter here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Walter, yes, yes, he is here. Yes. Walter, how many days are there in January? Uh, there are 31 days in January. In January, in January. In January. Okay, perfect. Walter, please ask back. Uh, how, how many cousins do you have, Vladimir? Uh, well, I have much cousins because my I have, I have a big family. Hello. Did you hear okay, me? Okay, yes. Uh, repeat your answer, please. I have too much cousins. Too many? Too many cousins because I have a big family. Okay. I have too many cousins because I have a big family. Thank you very much. Let's see, okay. let's see, let's see who else. Who's, who's next? and uh, Karen and Oscar. Yes, teacher, yo pregunto primero. Okay, ask him. Mr. Oscar, yes. how many people were in the company? Uh, hi, uh, they are a uh, 15 person in my company. 50 or 15? 15. 15. Oh, 50. 50. Work, no, sorry. Work in my 15. Okay, perfect. 15. Now, Oscar, I need you to ask back. Necesito que usted le pregunte ahora. Okay. Uh, how many students are in the class? In the classroom, uh, in they the classroom. are uh, 
17 students now? Students. Se hace salir un Students. Who's out? Students. Yeah. No. Walter, Walter is out and I don't know who else. Salieron dos aviones. Sí. ¿Le hago la otra pregunta? No, just one, just one. Thank okay. You. Thanks both of you. Alfonso and Luis Armando, please. Okay, um, Luis, how many they, they are? Uh, okay. Repeat again, please. Please. Alfonso, repeat your question again, please. Okay. How many, how many days are there in January? Okay, how many okay. days are there in January? Okay. There are uh, 31 in January days, days in January. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now, Luis, ask back, please. Okay. Um, how many cows do you have? How many cousins do you have, Alfonso? Um, okay. Um, I have... Uh, I have six cousins. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, both of you. Now let's see. And the last one. Daisy, I need you to please ask Sandra. Okay, sure. Um, Sandra? Hi. Comienzo. Yes, Daisy, you need to ask her. Usted necesita, okay. necesito que usted le pregunte. How many boots did you buy? I bought a boot. Okay. Perfect. I will explain something there later. Voy a explicar algo de eso luego. Sandra, I need you to ask Susana, please. Thank you, Daisy. Okay. Susana, how many people were in your company? There are um, cientos. Hundreds. There are people in my company. Perfect. Susana, please. Thank you, Sandra. Ask Daisy. Daisy, how many chairs are there in this room? Repeat, please. How many chairs are there in this room? Are there? In this room, how many chairs are there in this room? Mm. No, entiendo. no, listen. The question, the problem with the question is this, el problema con la pregunta es esta, that it, it makes sense in a specific context. As, tiene sentido la pregunta, pero en un contexto específico. Porque le está preguntando cuántas sillas hay en este salón. Okay. The same happened with the other question. How many books did you buy? Cuando preguntaron, los que preguntaron cuántos libros compró, if you use it like that, it's very open. It makes sense if you are in a specific context. Tiene sentido si está en un contexto like this. Imagine that you are talking to someone, you are having a conversation, and the other person says, hey, look, uh, last week I went to the library because I was looking for some books. La persona le dice, oh, I went to the library, I was looking for some books. Then you ask, oh, really? How many books did you buy? There we have a context. Remember, we have to be careful when we ask questions that they are not open. Okay? Tenemos que ser cuidadosos cuando hacemos una pregunta abierta o if it's a specific question. Okay, guys, let's continue. Questions about the activity or the questions we have? ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Up to here? No. We cool? Okay. Let me just do something.
teacher. Yes, Evelyn. Question. Um, you say how many uh, only uh, you said in plural. Okay. How many? It's only? Solo, solo in plural? How many? How many students are there in this class? Quantos? Okay. Okay. How much means quanto? The difference no es de singular o plural. The difference is between it's countable and uncountable. Okay. Yes. That's okay. the difference, Evelyn. I will send you the. I will send you guys. Gracias. I will send you guys the the presentation. Le voy a enviar la presentación tonight, so you can check it out tomorrow. And if you have any question, you ask me back tomorrow. Para que me la revisen mañana y si hay alguna pregunta, este, alguna duda después de ver la presentación, con gusto les ayudo. ¿Les parece? Teacher, ¿me ha podido meter el WhatsApp, teacher? En el correo que le mandaron de inscripción le aparecía este el enlace. Es que no sé si será porque me habrán puesto el de llamada y yo tengo dos, uno de un número de WhatsApp y un número de llamada. Vaya, en ese caso necesitaríamos que usted este, nos haga la petición el día de mañana en un horario en horas hábiles, después de las 8.30, en el grupo, este, me escribe. Tiene mi número, ¿verdad? No no, no, no lo tiene porque no está en el grupo, tiene toda la razón. Espérenme, Daisy, vamos a hacer algo. Uh, Daisy, 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 Daisy... Where are you? Daisy, perfect. Okay, I need you to please text me tomorrow. Me escribe mañana directamente, me da sus datos, so I can ask them to, 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 to make the switch, okay? Okay, teacher, gracias. Perfect, you're welcome, no problem. Okay, guys, now we go to the manual. Take out your manuals if you have it printed. Si tenemos el manual, printed or uh, digitally. Let's get it out because we need to do something. Necesitamos hacer algo. Just give me a second so I can get it ready. Teacher, I have yes. a question. Tell me, mister. Uh, Verdad que no tenemos todavía la presentación de lunes. Es que hice reinstall the WhatsApp. Uh, no, on Monday I didn't show presentation. No les di presentación lunes. I give it yesterday, right? ¿Cuándo les di presentación? Much. Yep, but I got two. Uh, no, 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 no. Tonight I will send them both. Ahora las envío. Okay. No. Thank you. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, guys, let me share with you. We are going to work with the manual. Oh, by the way, I needed to tell you something before. Necesitaba decirles algo. And we are going to, let's see, there are 15 of you. Uh, okay, guys, for the end of this level, I need you to work in a small project. Al finalizar este nivel necesito que hagamos un pequeño proyecto, ¿ok? Eh, last, last level, the ones who were with me at the end of the level, you introduced yourself, right? In a formal and you gave a small presentation. Me hicieron una pequeña presentación. For this level, for the last two classes, en las últimas dos clases, I need you to please, ¿ok? I need you to please explain in a very formal way, de una manera formal, what are the services provided by your company, okay? You are going to explain to me what are the services provided by your company. Do you understand it? ¿Entendemos la actividad? In my car services, Oh, okay. No. What do they do? You sell the products? My case is, in my case, 
this is a byproduct. Ustedes compran. Vendemos productos. Okay, no. sell. Okay. Sell. Sell okay. product. Then you are going to tell me about the products you sell. What are they for? Para que se utilizan. What type of product? Okay. ¿Cuáles son los productos? Para que se utilizan. ¿Cuál es su... Eh... Ah, hago un comercial de mi empresa. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, actually it is. I mean, if you were... Vendo with... pile. Don't worry. If you were with me in intermediate levels, si estuvieran conmigo en un nivel intermedio, I will ask you to really prepare a, an ad. Realmente les pediría que me crearan un comercial. I mean, when I get intermediates, I ask them to, to sell me a product, to create a product and sell it to me. Entonces les pido que creen un producto y me lo vendan. Because that's part of the topics you are going to be working on in this, uh, with this. Just give me a second, guys. I think I'm having a, something here. Walter no llegó Kenia, por eso no di su mensaje. Mauricio, perdón. Hola. No, pero me respondió. Ayer mismo oh, me contestó. Okay. Me respondió que, que teníamos que ver eso, que lo iba a ver con logística y no sé qué, porque tenemos un problema con las cajas. Me están, me están preparando cajas de 120 cuando el estándar es 24, entonces... Mm. Eh, ahí estoy teniendo problemas con bodega yo por eso. Sí, sí. Entonces, Son unos cambios, pero ya, ya se van a, ya, se van ah, a solventar. Ya se van a solventar. <risa> y tengo que mandar pedido. Desde ahora tenía que haber mandado ajá, pedido. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Well, let's continue, guys. I'm sorry. Estamos trabajando. <risa> I can tell, I can tell. Puedo verlo. Okay. Sorry. No problem, no problem. Let's continue. Okay, we were right here. Okay, guys, this is something of what I was explaining to you. This, this is something of what I was explaining to you. I was talking to you about time expressions for regular activities. We have every day, week, month, year. Those activities we perform daily, weekly, monthly. Sometimes the daily activities, we call them routines. Sometimes if the activities are scheduled events, they are timetables, okay? Now, in this case, this is a homework for you. This is for tomorrow. I need you to please write five questions you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job. Use the questions to interview a classmate. This activity, we are going to do it here in the class tomorrow, the part B. Part A is homework for you. Part B, we are going to have it as a conversation here in the class, okay? Questions about the homework? Preguntas con la tarea? No? Can you repeat the game, please? Teacher, en el caso, um, como lo digo, uh, uh, sería igual que la que hicimos con relación a, a las actividades de la casa. Yes, but related to your, yes. Okay. You have to think five questions that you can ask a classmate about his or her schedule. Usted me pre piensa cinco preguntas que usted le puede hacer. Only the questions. Yes, only the questions. Why? Okay. Because tomorrow here in the class, I will assign somebody to you for you to ask. Mañana yo le voy a asignar a alguien con quien usted va a trabajar y le va a hacer las preguntas. Okay? Y usted también le va a responder a esa persona. Okay? So be careful with the question. The questions need to be something that anybody could answer. Tienen que ser preguntas que cualquiera pudiese contestar. Okay? So you have to think a little bit. Ok, Cher, ¿cómo sería para preguntar? Por ejemplo. Sí, para contestar. Ok, por ejemplo, let's see, Sonia, please open your microphone. ¿Por qué? A ver. Oh, you were the first in my screen. Fue la primera en mi pantalla. <laughs> no, démosle. That's not my fault. 
Okay, let's see. Sonia, tell me, uh, what time do you check in every day? Uh, check in at 8 a.m. Okay, and tell me, what time do you have a coffee break? I don't know coffee break. I don't have. I don't have. Okay, coffee. perfect. And tell me, what time do you have lunch? At 1 p.m. Okay, at 1 p.m. you have lunch every day. And uh, what about meetings? Do you have meetings in the afternoon? Mm, como digo, a veces sí. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. And tell me, just to finish, what time do you finish working? Okay. Every day? What time do you I, I finish work at 6 p.m. So you check out at six or do you check out later? Later. <laughs> okay. You see guys, vieron el ejemplo? That's what we are going to do tomorrow. Ustedes tienen que traer ya las preguntas listas. And tomorrow we are going to do this exercise here. Is it clear now? Ahora sí. Tell yes. me, tell me. Perfect, thank you. Excellent, let's continue. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm here. Okay. Now, guys, this conversation, I need to record it and give it to you. Esta conversación necesito grabársela y dársela a ustedes. So this is going to be done tomorrow, okay? Now, let's stop this because we just have five minutes. So right now we are going to Great. What I needed to show you was the, the daily, weekly, and let's see, before we continue on, antes de continuar, let me just check something. Eh, ¿Quiénes son los asignados para este día? Recuerdo que alguien no se me va a conectar, ¿verdad? Eh, Oscar Rodríguez estaba programado, pero no, no realmente sí, no podré. Hoy. Ok, no problem, no problem. So guys, I have the 10.30, 10.40 p.m. Chief Frey. Tengo el de 10.30, 10.40 libre. If somebody wants it, just let me know. Solo me avisa. Okay. Yo, yo puedo adelantar la mía que la tengo a las 10.40. Okay. Yes, you can do that. So I have from 10.40 to 11 p.m. De las 10.40 a las 11. I am okay. free. So if somebody wants those 20 minutes, let me know. Si alguien quiere esos 20 minutos o part of them, let me know. O parte de ellos, me lo hacen saber. Okay? Because okay. I'm, go I'm going to be here the whole hour. Yo estaré acá toda la hora. Even if you are here or not, I will be here. Okay? Waiting. So let's see. Uh, remember that you have in the in the WhatsApp, they gave you the, the other link. En WhatsApp le dieron el link específicamente para las sesiones uno a uno, ¿ok? Those sessions, remember, are for mm -hmm. us to see how we can help each other, how I can help you. If you need to be something to be clear, clarify, you just let me know. Ok, before we move on, questions about today's class. Preguntas con la clase de hora. No. Today's class was a little bit faster, was, la clase ahora fue más rápida, was more conversation focus. Nos enfocamos más en conversación. Yes, Karen. Podría reenviar el link para la sesión de uno a uno. Mm, déjame ver aquí. Por en el, favor. En el grupo lo tenemos. Sí, lo estoy buscando, pero no identifico cuál es. Uh, There you go. Ahí lo tiene. If something, let me know. Si cualquier cosa no. Muchas gracias. No problem, no problem. So let's see. Remember, guys, how many, how much? How many, countable? How much, uncountable? How much also for prices? Okay? You can also use it for prices when asking how much is something. Okay? 
like for example how much does this cost yes how much how much does it cost again that question is specific i show you something like i show you hey look mister hey vladimir i got a your head i got I a sample new, your headphones i got your a headphones. new a new usb stick and you ah. ask me hey teacher how much does, how it, much cost? does it cost because in okay. this case you already know what we are talking about so you use yes. it instead of the name okay okay thanks no problem any question about the topic i want to pregunta comments no teacher receive Today the class okay. finish early <laughs> okay yeah yeah today we are going to finish early okay preguntas recetas chistes no Ay, me gusta pero en español tell me susana well, okay me gusta expresar este o detallar realmente lo que hago okay. o sea no generalizarlo así como fue ahora ¿verdad? la explicación esa de lo que realmente hago me gustó mucho okay that's cool we are going to continue doing stuff like this y nos vamos a enfocar más a cuestiones así because I need you to talk more. And remember, this is English for work. Okay? This is the, the National Program for English for Work. Este es el programa nacional de inglés para el trabajo. Así que nos vamos a enfocar durante todo el curso. Se van a ir enfocando a vocabulario work-related. Relacionado al trabajo. Sometimes I will move out. Algunas veces me voy a mover un poquito fuera para darles generalidades. But we are going to get a lot into work-related vocabulary okay hey guys it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight see you tomorrow bye bye have a good night good night to everybody good night everybody sonia don't forget you owe me the same vladimir mauricio Medea. yes teacher <laughs> yes. Yes, yes 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 okay okay i'll be waiting for yes teacher good night teacher good night take care good night. Good night.